park is beyond your expectations. Feel the anticipation. This long shot coming Witness the speed. Experience the thrill. Hi, Maryland racing fans. It's time to take a look at our races from start to finish on Sunday, January 6th here at Laurel Park. Temp going to the 50s on the Sunday afternoon, and the track rated fast. Before we get to the nine-race program, beginning with the first leg of that early pick five, a reminder, our next live racing day will be here Thursday, January 10th at Laurel. We'll have eight races on Thursday afternoon, Thursday through Sunday, our January-February schedule with holiday exceptions. And join us coming up on January 12th. We'll have four stakes races here at Laurel Park. $100,000 fire plug, the $100,000 what a summer, $100,000 Nellie Morse, and the $100,000 native dancer stakes action on January 12th, Saturday. January 26th, it's the Pegasus World Cup watch and wager on the Pegasus from Gulfstream Park. If you can't make it to Gulfstream, we'll have all the simulcast action here at Laurel Park and a live card as well. So a big month of January ahead. Here's a look at the opener from Sunday afternoon on the fast track. And they're off. Shoe Love Shoe sent out for the early advantage. And Kolb, and here's Abdar from the rail post. To the outside there is Concordia's Way to Gray. Two putt is only three and a half from the front. And Baduk in the back of the pack. Kolb leading the way. And Shoe Love Shoe out of the inside under continuous pressure on the pace. In the meantime, Concordia's Way is a stalking third. And Abdar on the inside fourth. Two putt travels in fifth. Just three from the lead. And last of them all is Baduk into the far turn run. Shoe Love Shoe's been working hard at 22.0. 11, opening quarter mile. In the meantime, Concordia's way. Colbin between horses continues with the battle. And here comes Baduk. Baduk's on the move on the far outside. Baduk looming after that quick pace and coming up four deep at the quarter pole. Baduk swoops to the lead on the far outside. Baduk turns for home. Baduk on the far outside of 46, 11, half mile. Baduk shoe loves shoe. They're followed by Kolb. It's Baduk with that move past the 560s and plenty of momentum. And Baduk. Looks home now, Baduke and Kemal Trotman. Baduke in front with high-headed action. Two putt is closing, Baduke and two putt. Baduke to win it by about a length and a half. Two putt, solid second, Cobb was third. Shoe love shoe. And they're off. Father down to Mr. Chesapeake City. Kitchen soup away running in third. And next is Rapidash Cat, another five. Back and at last is Smart Face. It's Mr. Chesapeake City at the rail. The outside is Father Don. It's Kitchen Soup, the big favorite. Tracks the pace in third, and Rapidash Cat just to the inside. A Kitchen Soup racing close fourth, and seven more lengths back, and Smart Face is the one in the back still, with four furlongs left to go. Mr. Chesapeake City getting away somewhat from Father Down, about three quarters of a length with Kitchen Soup out of the clear. Rapidash Cat still down to the inside, another eight lengths back, and Smart Face to last. 23.16 is that opening quarter mile. Mr. Chesapeake City trying to go all the way here, but Kitchen Soup is looming on the outside into second spot now. And Father Don is third, and Rapidash Cat another half dozen back in Smart Face. 
They race through the top of the stretch, and Kitchen Soup goes on narrow lead for Mr. Chesapeake City in a 48.15 half mile. Kitchen Soup now opens a length and a half toward the furlong marker. Now two, Mr. Chesapeake City, then Rapid Dash kind of the outside, trying to run into the exacta with a 16th left to go. It's Kitchen Soup. Kitchen Soup and Ricardo Chuppy reporting home a half dozen in front. Rapid Dash catch with second, Mr. Chesapeake City and Smart Face. They're in the gate. And they're off. Journey on the move and Miss Piccadilly firing out for the lead from Baby's Dancer. Then Teresa's on her. Why not be sexy now? About five from the front. And next is Reign Supreme in advance of Hanalei. Sunset is outrun. Heading into the far turn, journey on the move past that half mile pole, trying to get away from Ms. Piccadilly and does by a length. And Teresa's honor now by the outside of the move. Teresa's honor takes second as journey on the move is the leader from Teresa's honor. Reign Supreme now moves from fourth the outside within four of the front. The opening quarter went at 22.64. Past that 5 16th pole, it's Journey on the move. Teresa's on the fully ridden on the outside is Reign Supreme. And next is Ms. Piccadilly under a drive and trying to stay on for the last 3 16ths of a mile. Journey on the move is in front. Ms. Piccadilly resilient on the inside and Reign Supreme out in the center. Reign Supreme's got a bit of momentum now to happen. 46.80. Here's Reign Supreme. Reign Supreme from Journey on the move with a 16th left to go. And Caramanos and Reign Supreme are coming home to win at almost two lengths. Journey on the move, then Ms. Piccadilly on a lace sunset, and why not be sexy? And they're off with Get a Valentine, whatever you want, and that's foot on the inside, and Cody Hone is there in between horses. The outside is the great provider and can't say no. Then Papacho, who settled about five lengths of speed of whatever you want. And not a chance is in the back. Heading onto the turn, and it's whatever you want leading the way as the great provider presses on the outside. Get a Valentine, and now Cordejon's on the inside stalking a dueling pair. Can't say no races in fifth. Another three, and Papacho ridden along has seven or eight to make up, and not a chance of seventh and last. 21.75, pushed along that opening quarter of a mile is whatever you want by the great provider who's backed off, and Cordejon taking aim and taking the lead. Cordejon turns for home. Cody Hones in front from whatever you want is battle on her drive on the inside. Out of their five lengths back, Papacho's really got a rally now with a furlong left to go. The half went in 45.14. It's Cody Hone in front. Cody Hone, whatever you want, still game. It's Cody Hone, 15 to 1, Cody Hone, to win from whatever you want. Papacho was third, then get a Valentine and the great provider.
Yeah, they're off. By the Bay, Fastwell on the outside, and Top Hat Toon firing up with early speed at the rail is Lucky Leonard up close to taking third, Admiral's Row in fourth. Then it's back to Fastwell, a broke with him, and now in fifth position, and it's two more lengths and Top Hat Voyager, and Corrupt is last now, some 13 lengths off the pace up ahead of Top Hat Toon. The Gray fires away, past that four for a long mark, Top Hat Toon is in front, for an opening quarter in 22.96. Top Pat Toon, here's Admiral's Row on the outside. By the Bay in between horses. Lucky Leonard still right there in the thick of things. Just two lengths from the front, it's another five. Top Hat Voyager, they followed by Fast Will, far back to Corrupt. Past that 560s, and it's Top Pat Toon, the leader. Admiral's Row looming up on the outside into second spot, and Top Hat Voyager extreme outside. Lucky Leonard down to the rail, sneaks right on through at the 360s, the half mile in 47.37. Extreme outside is Top Hat Voyager, Admiral's Row in between horses, Lucky Leonard right there at the rail, still very game. Then by the bay in fourth with a 16 to go. Top Hat Voyager on the outside, Admiral's Row. Admiral's Row is going to get there under the X-Man. Admiral's Row, Top Hat Voyager, Lucky Leonard close there. Then by the bay and Top Hat Toon. And they're off with Katarina one. Out first, yours to keep is sent up there with early foot two. Then I see Lady the Great of the inside, call me Jelly Roll and try poker and Dixie do good. Trailing eight lengths front to back and Katarina one clears off. Clears off by two lengths. Katarina one is the leader with call me Jelly Roll just second now on the inside is yours to keep in third. Another two and try poker is in mid pack. Then I see Lady to the inside and Dixie do good. Seven lengths front to back with three and one half furlongs to go. Katarina one into the turn with Call Me Jelly Roll looming a half length behind through an opening quarter at 23.22. So midpoint on that turn, it's Katarina one just holding on. Call Me Jelly Roll with a serious challenge from the outside. Now they're in even terms past the quarter pole. Another six back and it's Try Poker. Yours to keep down to the inside and Dixie do good and Icy Lady. A half in 47.40. Into the stretch, Cat Arena 1 turning back the challenge of Call Me Jelly Roll. Cat Arena 1 looks like the one today, and Cat Arena 1 and Jorge Ruiz coming home for a double past the 16th pole. Opening up three on Call Me Jelly Roll, and then yours to keep will pick up third in Dixie Do Good. Cat Arena 1. They are in the gate, and they're off. In the rear is off to a sharp beginning with T-Sizzle, and the inside is Apollodora to Damasco. Torch of Truth is keyed up there after the layoff, and Torch of Truth is right up close to in the rear. at a moderate pace. Now Torch of Truth a length behind in second, Apollodora to Damasco, and T-Sizzle travels outside in fourth. Two more lengths, and rule yourself, and earned it is in the back. 
Six and a half lengths will cover that field in arrears at a steady tempo in a 23.61 opening quarter mile with a head lead from Torture Truth on the inside second. Apollo Doro de Damasco right off that pace in third position and T Sizzle is in fourth. And it's another two lengths back and rule yourself and earned it is sixth and last. Into the far turn, and rears kicks away again from Torch of Truth a little more than a length. T Sizzle is third now on the outside, trying to make a bid toward the pace as well. And Apollo Doro de Damasco is in fourth and rule yourself and earned it's got to pick it up. Half was in 46.35. They're at the top of the stretch. And it's in arrears, has been going a slow tempo, now has to kick away as they straighten in with a two-length lead. Torch of Truth in pursuit from second. Then it's T-Sizzle in third to the last furlong. Carrasco going to work on in arrears. In arrears holding by two lengths from Torch of Truth, who's giving all. It's a 16th left to go, and in arrears will do it. In arrears holding off Torch of Truth, who went a length and a half. T-Sizzle was third. Rule yourself in Apollo Doro de Damasco. And they're off. All the way together with Floss Dancer, Lady Bondot from the inside, and Abo chiming in two in between horses to the turn run. Tightly twisted on the outside, wants the lead now. And tightly twisted goes on with Trevor McCarthy to establish the advantage early. Lady Bamba a length and a half behind in second, and Floss Dancer alongside of her in third. Her Royal Highness is in fourth, and Abo broke with him, but now five from the front, and like a pro is the last runner. Seven lengths from front to back, maybe a half dozen, as they head now with about six furlongs left to go. It's tightly twisted, settled in. Tightly twisted about a length and a half in front from Floss Dancer and Lady Bamba, who's racing in third position, opening quarter unavailable. As they journey now with about four and a half, five furlongs to go, Her Royal Highness is next and fourth. They're followed by Abo in fifth, another three and it's like a pro. Tightly twisted and a steady beat into the far turn run from Floss Dancer. Her Royal Highness getting closer on the outside. Her Royal Highness is three wide into the turn, but tightly twisted is just holding on, been nursed along so far. Fully ridden is Floss Dancer. The outside, Her Royal Highness now taking aim and up to even turns with tightly twisted. Her Royal Highness is in front from tightly twisted. Three ace out, poking that head in front. Lady Bonba with an inside run. Floss Dancer continued pressure, dropping back a bit, and Abos racing fifth of the outside, and like a pro trailing the field. They're at the top of the stretch, and it's Her Royal Highness. Her Royal Highness, the Grace swings in, looking over a bit to the grandstand side in front by two. Lady Bamba, gamely between horses. She's coming through now, and here's Lady Bamba. Lady Bamba, Floss Dancer's trying to come back for more even. Her Royal Highness trying to hold out the bit of Lady Bamba, and indeed is doing so. And it is going to be Her Royal Highness. Her Royal Highness to win it from Lady Bamba, two and a half. Floss Dancer, then Abbo. in the gate and are off 
Sharpie getting with a favorite trusty roll, and my Chessa Charm run alongside of her. Two lengths back, and Truffelsberg is on the chase from third. Fains the nation, and Frisky Whiskey has six to make up. Trusty roll getting no breathers as my Chessa Charm is there every step of the way with her as they charge now to the four and a half. Another three in Truffelsburg is in third. Here's Faze the Nation as five and a half to make up, and Frisky Whiskey is last of them all. Still Trusty Roll and My Chessa Charm. Trusty Roll now a neck in front from My Chessa Charm through 22.90. Opening quarter mile, and it's another four or five lengths back. And a third on the chase is Truffelsburg. They're followed by Faze the Nation, and Frisky Whiskey's in the back. Still Trusty Roll and My Chessa Charm past the quarter pole. Six legs back at Truffelsburg is third, the half at 45.99. Trusty Roll has won that battle as My Chessa Charm drifts outside. Phase the nation from in between horses coming on now. And Truffelsburg down to the inside with a furlong left to go. It's Trusty Roll and Kenny Davis. Trusty Roll keeps on going. Trusty Roll phase the nation. And here's Frisky Whiskey rolling up to third. And then it was Truffelsburg. Fourth. Time a minute eleven point zero four. Sunday's in the books, and remember, we'll be back on track for live racing here at Laurel Park and simulcast action on Thursday afternoon. Eight races on the Thursday program, racing Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, with holiday exceptions during January and February. That's it for the replays on Sunday. Simulcast action, all the Maryland OTBs throughout the week, and here at Laurel Park. And we'll see you Thursday afternoon.